1968, there was a great swell of, of uh, revolutionary thoughts and ideas, and young people in this country were just tired of the war in Vietnam, and and more and more information is coming about. There was there was lies uh, that that perpetrated U.S. involvement in, in Southeast Asia. So the young people became very angry about that, and they went to the streets, and street, demonstration after demonstration, huge people fighting, and the police shooting uh, at the students in Kent State. Uh, but um, it, uh, it ended uh, with the United States president resigning from office and um, it uh, and the war ended and the troops came home um, and I see it today in, in the Middle East the young people you know wanting wanting answers from the government in, in Tripoli and in, in, in Libya uh, I mean the whole the whole young generation they've been under a dictatorship for 40 years, or 40, almost 50 years. So they don't know anything else except that type of dictatorship government. And they want, they want change. They want change in, in, um, in other parts of the country. Of course, the Muslims, they also want change. They want change, they want, they want the U.S. involvement to get out of the Middle East. Um, and so a lot of young people, yes, are, are, are demanding change, and it, it's happening. A young man in, I'm not sure what country it was now, was just Googling and just used, uh, used the Internet to get interested people to uh, bring down the, the, the president of that country. I'm not sure now. Some uh, people think that American young people are not as awake or energized or why aren't they in the streets um, with what's happening here what do you think about that do you see compared to the 60s oh they, they went to sleep they just very complacent very um, laid back the, the young generation uh, internet uh, savvy uh, Twitter savvy uh, Facebook savvy and that's where their social um, interaction is, on the internet. Uh, and in the meantime, the reality is going on in this country. And, you know, nobody is saying, nobody is saying anything about the war. Ten years, longest uh, war that the United States has been involved in, uh, except against Native people, which I believe is the longest undeclared war, is against Native people. But nobody in, 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 in white America um, is saying anything about these wars in, in Iraq or Afghanistan, you know, about the troops getting killed, or, or, or about Iranian Afghanistan's being killed by our bombs. But nobody, nobody's caring. And nobody, nobody's going to the streets. And that's why I'm saying, that's why I say it's, they're very complacent, kicked back and they just are, 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 are too involved with the internet. What do you think about, um, I heard Russell Means was talking, was saying welcome to the reservation and saying um, to, to the American public at, at large, the white people, and um, that there's been the bailouts, pretty much they're sucking us dry and nobody's doing anything about it, and the the, lib the freedoms are are for um, with the what's going on in the airports and um, the loss of freedoms. Um, but you, your perspective, what's your take on that? Um, I understand what you're saying that it's always been there for for you from the beginning, and. Um, do you think that'll create some kind of um, 
what do you think it's coming back to haunt America? I wanted I want them to be haunted every hour, every day, every second, because uh, this 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 land morally is still Native people land, still our country, um, and. Uh, What's going on? Well, first of all, I want to say that Russell Means, of course, has been been my friend for years. Uh, we don't talk much these days because of the, you know his, his travels and and my travels. He's still a friend of mine. He's still saying things that I think need to be said in this country. And um, yes, welcome to the reservation. The whole system of of of. of uh, of politics, of banking, is just the way it was on reservation land years ago. You know, steal, steal the money from the native people, steal their resources, take their gold, take their silver, take their oil, uh, and give them some pennies, chump change. But nobody goes to jail for that. I mean, there was just a lawsuit where the, uh, uh, where Cabell, in the Cabell case, they, they stole billions and billions of dollars from Native people. But nobody goes to jail. Nobody, nobody you know, Madoff made out, he made off with billions too, and he's in jail. He, three, two, 156 years in prison, 146 years in prison. But steal from Native people, nobody goes to jail, nobody spends a weekend in jail, nothing. Do you see any, um, with the ecological breakdown, do you see that that might because Mother Earth is going to demand respect. Do you see any, um, you know, a lot of people are, are happy about this collapse because it, it will end some of the exploitation. Do you see any um, optimism in, in how things are accelerating? Um, I believe the, um, the American society will take a beating, and they'll take a big beating, and maybe after that beating, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll wake up, and maybe those who have done nothing but Twitter and text and fax and online and Facebook, and that they will also realize that while they've been sleeping and playing, Somebody's been thieving and conning. It's the same. It's a. It's a. It's a bigger, bigger theft from them now because no one. There's no opposition. There's no policeman out there saying you can't. You know. Um, there's no policeman guarding the money. There's no policeman guarding the bank. As a matter of fact, there are, some of them are part of it. So. But. Um, America, Americans will wake up and realize that America is. Financially broke, financially bankrupt, morally bankrupt, and spiritually bankrupt. And Native people will still be talking with the universe, with the environment, with the, the trees and the elements that make up who we are. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it.